Oh, I'm running late, I'm running late, I'm running late. I overslept. Yeah. I'm running late, so late. I overslept, yeah. Yeah. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. I was supposed to be in the yard at 6.30 a.m. Look at what time it is. And look where I am. I'm still home. <laughs> oh, stupid alarm clock messed up. So I'm running a little late today. Got a boogie. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. Sliding tandems on a trailer that has 45,000 pounds on it. And that trailer has been on the road longer than I've been driving. Got it done though. Took a little elbow grease and a few colorful adjectives, but we got her done. Ooh, now I go drop this trailer and see what I'm doing next. The joys of sleeping in late. Awesome. Okay, so I've been here before. This place that I'm picking up at. And it's an inside warehouse. So we get to go inside, which is good because it looks like we're going to get some thunderstorms rolling in. I really don't need to have a repeat of yesterday getting all soaked. And uh, today's been pretty decent, even though I uh, overslept. <laughs> I uh, came in and uh, they sent me out to Baldensville with a trailer that I dropped. I bobtailed back to the yard, picked up a load that I brought out to Leroy, New York. Got unloaded there, and here I am in Rochester, picking up a load that I'm gonna probably be taking back to Syracuse, possibly. Load goes to Ohio, so I might be taking it out to our drop yard that we have out near Buffalo. Not sure yet, I guess I'll find out. Right now I'm just waiting on this guy here to get backed in. Oh, it's not a guy. A, is it a guy? Yeah, it's a dude. I thought it was a lady there for a second. Maybe, maybe I need to get my glasses checked or something. <laughs> See, when I came in, I just pulled up on the end over there and made my phone call off. I will just back in. I mean, that's what he's supposed to do. This place here, you uh, they have a number at the guard shack there. You call that number, and then they tell you what building to go to and all that. So, right there. I want to take a left there by those trailers, but I don't want to be in this guy's way. Okay, he's waving me through. That was very nice of him. See, there is some common courtesy left in the world. I'd like to say I have faith and hope in the human race. Even though some days it doesn't look that way. here is uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty good size. Easy to get lost in. Oh yeah, here we go. Must be late coming back for lunch. <laughs> I remember when I used to get a lunchtime. A designated lunchtime every day. Away we go. Or away I go. Lovely cloud cam is uh, acting beautifully today, also as normal. Ooh, nice and cool in here.
gotta go open my doors. So this is the place where they want you to uh, slide your tandems all the way back. You can't really do that until you back the trailer into the slot you're going into. There's not much room to maneuver in here. Let's give this a shot here. Not much room to maneuver in here. So far, so good. So far, we're looking pretty good. It's not a straight up a little bit. We're all hitting the wall over here. Take it back over this way. Anybody out there who doesn't drive trucks still want to drive a truck? Just a little bit. Very tight in here, almost need a shoehorn. <laughs> I still have to slide my tandems back. So once I get square with the dock, I'll go out and slide my tandems back. <laughs> Just about done. It's only taking me like three minutes to back in here, right? <laughs> Alright, now we got her. Alright, I go slide my tandem. Alright, my tandems are slid all the way to the back. Now I'm gonna drop this and go outside and wait for him to call me. All right, and we're in like when. All right. Now we go out and wait. Trailers jot dropped and ready to be loaded. Whew. It's real humid, kind of sticky. Green light, green light. And back out in the... Yeah, here comes the rain. Why did I have to do that outside? After yesterday? Holy cow. 
I was soaked. And then after I got soaked, I went to my son's baseball game. I didn't bother changing it, and that was raining while, you know, at the game. This team won. They're in the uh, playoffs, so they moved to the next round, so that's pretty cool. The coach of his team last year, all year, won one game. They got into the playoffs, and they won the championship, which is pretty neat. So there's only six teams, so they do like a little playoff thing, and, you know, I think whoever wins the championship gets the trophy or whatever. It's pretty neat, but... All right, I'm going to go out here and wait for them to call me so I can go back and pick the trailer up and uh, get out of here. Looks like we're going to get some rain. Okay, so my load is done. i got to go pick it up. Right now I'm at the uh, free of charge Rochester, New York truck wash. You're doing all right, job. Can't complain, it's free, right? <laughs> I gotta pick up my load and get out of here. I still have to take my 30 minute DOT break. All right, where's today going? Oh, the call time takes a hit. <laughs> driving in the rain. Driving in the rain. What a glorious feeling we're having today. Just driving. Driving in the rain. Parking lot filling up. Reminds me of my days at Family Dollar when we used to get the heavy rain and we used to drive really fast to them, cause big waves and weights and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm glad that uh, my trailer is inside, not on the outside, because it would really be bad if I had to uh, slide tandems and all that and this stuff again. Of course, I have a newer trailer today too. That makes a big difference. The trailer I had yesterday was probably uh, made sometime before some World War or something. <laughs> bumpy, bumpy. Driving in the rain. Just driving in the rain. I hope they were you. We're driving in the rain. Okay, enough of the cheesy rain songs. Well, I'm all done. Got my load. Got my paperwork. Take my 30 minute DOT break over here in this parking lot here, this warehouse place here. And that place over there is a little cafe. I figured I'd go over there and get myself a bite to eat. Well, they close at 2 o'clock. It's 3 30. So I guess I missed out on that. That's a shame. They could probably make a killing if they stayed open later. There's a lot of drivers in here coming in through here 24 hours a day. So basically, I'm just waiting to finish my break and then see where I'm taking this load. Exciting, isn't it? All right, so that's the end of my work day. Brought that load that I picked up in Rochester back here to Syracuse. Just topped off my fuel tanks. Called down the dispatch, said, hey, trailer's in the yard. They said, we'll talk to you in the morning. I said, all right, sounds good. Kind of a short day. Well, really, 7.30 to 6 o'clock. Yeah, it's a short day, I guess. For all you eight-hour people who are like, well, holy cow, that's a long day. But if you get a chance, if you get a couple minutes, go check out that video that Dump Truck Bob and I made, the old uh, sandbox game video. That was uh, pretty fun to do. It's kind of neat, kind of an old take on an old uh, comedy bit. I'm sure we'll uh, collaborate on uh, some other videos down the road. It's kind of fun collaborating on videos with somebody who lives, you know, five, six hours away from your, not in your area, you know? That's where modern technology is good. Unlike this thing over here, this Qualcomm thing, all that's good for is just uh, a dashboard decoration. <laughs> but I'm going to go get something to eat, go home. And uh, take a nap, come back tomorrow, and do it all over again. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good day, eh?